Titans wearing their home white with red numerals and red letters. The Orioles in their visiting blacks with orange numerals and letters and white trims. Lineups have been introduced. And the head coaches get called out to the center of the court to exchange pleasantries. Of course, Trojans coached by Carla Niemeyer and Dan Steppen and Nate Sanderson, the head coach for Springville. Rich Larson. Ron Hornholt and Terry McMillan is going to be our officiating crew here tonight. For championship basketball. And the bench official, the veteran Craig Snyder. As the lights come back on in the arena. And the pomp and circumstance, which is cool, which is all part of the fun, is now done. And we're getting you set for 1A state championship basketball here on FM 100.5. First time ever. A team from Wanashee County is playing for a Basketball state championship. And when I say that, a team where their school building is actually in Winnesheet County. Tap will be between Riley Menster and Morgan Kennett. Orioles will move to our left and the Trojans to our right here in the first half. Rich Larson tosses the ball up and it's controlled by Turkey Valley. Niemeyer got it left side to Rikes. Rikes against the 2 3 zone of the Orioles. Right wing to Noose. Top of key to Rikes. To Niemeyer on the left side. Right side to Noose. Her pass deflected. Macy gets it back on the right wing. Top of the key to Rikes. Passes on the right wing to Noose. Skips it over to Niemeyer. Left baseline to Delaney Lensing. Left to the circle of Shelby Rikes. Right side to Macy Noose. Skips it over to Niemeyer. Left side. Sadie for three. It does not fall. The rebound corralled by Michaela Nehazel. Now to Wegeman, quickly up on the right side of the floor to Alyssa Yeager. Yeager kicks it back to Megan Wegeman. Megan gives a hand pass to Minster. Screen roll pass back to Nahazel, right block, puts it up, does not fall. Rebound pulled down by Morgan Kennan for the Trojans. Now to Rikes. Rikes up into the front court, right side to Noose, right wing to Rikes, left wing to Niemeyer, top of the key to Rikes. Rikes on the right side to Noose. Top of the key to Rikes. Shelby for three. No good. Rebound taken. Left baseline by Niemeyer. And a foul is called in the battle for the board. And it's going to go on the Orioles. Alyssa Yeager will pick up her first first foul of the game. We're a minute eight into the game. It's a scoreless game. Rikes into Kennan at the free throw line. Morgan's going to take it from there. It goes. And the first olive goes to Morgan Kinnon. And a 2-0 lead for the Trojans a minute 17 in. Megan Wegeman in the backcourt. Passes across the timeline to Matt, Maddie Wegeman. Maddie dribbles to the top of the key. Goes right side to Minster. Minster screen roll pass back to the right corner to Maddie Wegeman underneath to Nahazel and she'll lay it up for two. Nahazel with the bucket. It's a 2-2 score. We're a minute 40 in. Reichs top of the key. Right side to New. Skips it over to Reichs on the left side. Bounce pass underneath the Morgan Kennan. High on the left to Lensing to Reichs to Niemeyer to Noose right side. Her pass deflected, taken by Niemeyer. Middle of the court. Left side to Shelby Reichs. Reichs right of the circle to Niemeyer. Back to Reichs between the circles. 
Reichs passes on the right wing to Neus. Tap of the key to Reichs. Back to Neus, right wing. Tap of the key to Reichs. Left side to Niemeyer. Skips it over to Macy, right wing. Macy's going to take a 20 footer. It dances out. Rebound to Laney Lensing on the left block. Lensing tried to get it to Niemeyer. Pass intercepted by Riley Menster. Menster passes up the left side of the floor to Maddie Wegman. Wegman on the left wing to Menster. Now to Nahazel high on the left, kicks it left baseline to Maddie Wegman. Maddie had her pass deflected out of bounds. Springville will keep it. 5.26 to play first quarter. We are still tied at two. Fly pass into Nahazel, right block, catches off the glass and in. Nahazel with the bucket to make it 4 2 Springville. 5.18 to play here in the first quarter. Up into the front court, Rikes. Rikes passes on the near right wing to News. Tap a key to Shelby Rikes. Rikes. High on the left to Morgan Kennett. Skips it over to Noose in the right corner. Noose skips it over to Niemeyer. Left wing, three-pointer up, long. Rebound pulled down by Megan Wegeman for Springville. Quickly up the right side of the floor to Minster. Minster on the right wing. High on the right to Nahazel. Nahazel kicks it left side to Mag Maddie Wegman Underneath with the right block to Yeager. And Yeager lays it up and in. Alyssa Yeager with her first two. And it's a 6-2 lead for Springville. 4.35 to play here in the first quarter. Kennett at the free throw line. Takes a jumper. No good. Rebound down to Nahazel for the Orioles. Outlet right to Minster. And she is bumped on the way out by Morgan Kennett. Morgan will pick up her first foul in the first on Turkey Valley. Emily Busta comes in to get... Macy News inbounds, it comes to Minster. Minster on the left side, dumps it to Nahazel. Right block, goes up and scores. Nahazel with six points already and an eight nothing run for Springville has given the Orioles an eight to two lead. Niemeyer on the left wing, skips it over to Busta. Right wing, top of key, two rights. Right side, Emily Busta, three pointer up, short, rebound to the corner. Busta tried to save it. Lensing had it, couldn't control it. It goes out of bounds and the Orioles will play it. So against the pressure, Megan Wegeman will look to get it inbounds. Wegeman inbounds to Maddie Wegeman. Back to Megan Wegeman in the backcourt. Pecked on there by Reichs. Back between the circles to Maddie Wegeman. Maddie on the left wing to Alyssa Yeager. Yeager in the left corner to Menster. Menster's pass deflected. Menster gets it back at the free throw line. Right of the circle, Megan Wegeman to Maddie Wegeman. Left baseline, 18 footer up and good. 10 in a row for Springville. And it's a 10-2 lead for the Orioles. Rikes up into the front court for Turkey Valley. 3.23 to play first quarter. On the right wing to Niemeyer, top of key to Rikes. Rikes on the dribble between the circles, left side to Busta, Emily for three, got it! Emily Busto with the three-pointer to end the 10 to two run, or the 10 to nothing run for the Orioles, and it's 10-5 now. Springville, three minutes to play, first quarter. Menster with it on the right side to Nahazel at the free throw line, trying to get it to Menster, and it's intercepted by Rikes for Turkey Valley. Rikes up into the front court. Rikes driving left of the lane, put up the runner. It fails to fall. Rebound being fought for. It's loose. It's still loose. It's taken by Niemeyer for the Trojans. Not a cannon right of the circle. Back between the circles to Rikes. Rikes to Kinnon, left side. Jumper up and good. A 15-footer goes for Morgan Kinnon. Five in a row now for the Trojans, and it's 10-7. 2.25 to play here in the first quarter. Right side, Minster. Minster, a lob pass underneath. Intercepted by Niemeyer. But she caught it awkwardly and is going to get called for the travel. <laughs> Niemeyer made the interception down low and took a step as she tried to release it to one of her teammates. Christy Hoogland in for Springville. Kayla Schaffenmuehl in for Turkey Valley. On the right wing with it is Menster. Menster to Maddie Wegeman. Right side to Meg Megan Wegeman. Her pass towards Menster deflected out at the Turkey Valley bench. 
Rakes got her hand in the passing lane that time. Inbounds it comes to Riley Menster. Menster at the free throw line to Hoogland. Hoogland left side to Jaeger. Jaeger left baseline to Menster. Her pass deflected by Niemeyer. It's taken by Megan Wegman. She went up, got it blocked by Kinnon, pulled down by Niemeyer. Niemeyer now to Rikes. Rikes on the right wing to Bustet. Top of the key to Rikes. Right wing to Bustet. Top of the key to Rikes. Rikes passes on the left wing to Niemeyer. Niemeyer skips it over right side. Intercepted by Megan Wegman for the Orioles. Megan passes across the timeline to Jaeger. Goes left baseline to Maddie Wegman. High on the left to Hoogland, and Hoogland traveled with it. One thirty-one to play here in the first quarter. It is a 10-7 lead for Springville on Turkey Valley. They have no live stats and no scoreboard right now here in the arena. Rikes on the right side to Busta. Busta back between the circles to Rikes. Rikes veers over to the left side. Leaves it on the left wing to Niemeyer. Top of the key to Rikes. Around the screen to the right side. Right corner to Busta. Emily for three. Got it! Emily Busta with the three-pointer. The Trojans have scored eight in a row. And it's now tied at ten. One minute to play here in the first quarter. Megan Wengeman couldn't handle a pass. Taken away by Busta. Busta up into the front court, stops at the free throw line. Goes top of the key to Shelby Rikes. Rikes on the right wing to Busta. Busta back between the circles to Rikes. Rikes right wing to Busta. Top of the key to Rikes. Rikes on the left wing to Niemeyer. To Kenna at the left block. Left corner to Schaffenbuehl. Left wing to Niemeyer. Three-pointer up. Dances out. Rebound pulled down by the Orioles. Megan Wegeman got it. Quickly ahead on the left side to Maddie Wegeman. Maddie on the left wing to Jaeger. Top of the key to Megan. Right side to Menster. Three-pointer up and good. Menster with the three-pointer. Orioles back up 13 to 10. 15 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Rikes with it up into the front court for the Trojans. Rikes on the dribble. Midcourt area stops and travels with it. She was being harassed a little bit defensively by Hoogland. And that might have forced the turnover. So Wegeman will look to get an inbounds with 5.3 seconds to play in the quarter. Reichs out, Stephanie Martin in. Inbounds, it comes in the backcourt to Menster. Menster to Wegeman to Maddie Wegeman. Three-pointer short at the horn of the first quarter. And Springville will go off leading 13 to 10 after one quarter on FM 100.5. Welcome back to Des Moines, everybody. It appears the scoreboard is working again. Well, Turkey Valley scored the first two of the quarter, and then Springville went on a 10 to nothing run. Then Turkey Valley went on an eight to nothing run to tie it at 10. Springville got a three pointer from Riley Minster to end the scoring in the first quarter. It's 13 to send Springville after one. Megan Wegeman will look to get an inbounds. Facing Shelby Rikes at the TV table just to our right on the near side of the floor. Inbounds it comes to Minster. Minster passes on the right wing to Yeager. Yeager takes the dribble into midcourt area. Passes right corner to Maddie Wegeman. Underneath at the right block for a shot up and in by Megan Wegeman. Megan Wegeman. With their first two, it's 15 to 10 Springville. 7.39 to play second quarter. Buster with it on the right side. Top of the key to Rikes. Rikes. Veers over to the left wing. Deep on the left side to Buston. Out of Rikes. Drives in the lane. Put up a runner from eight. Does not fall. Rebound pulled down by Megan Wegeman for Springville. Passes up the right near side to Menster. Menster on the left side to Jaeger. 
Left corner to Maddie Wegman. Around the screen of the free throw line now stops to Menster on the right wing. To Nahazel at the free throw line. Hand pass to Jaeger. Jaeger passes on the left wing to Megan Wegman. Ball knocked away, taken away by Morgan Kinnick. Now to Reich. Quickly ahead to Niemeyer. Right wing to Busta. Open three. Short. Rebound deflected. Taken by Nahazel for the Orioles. One on one with Reich. Nahazel drives in. Put it up off the glass and in. Now Hazel with eight, 17-10. Springville, 6.39 to play second quarter. Busta with the top, a key to Rice. On the right wing to Busta. Busta high on the right to Kennan. Takes an eight footer, it fails to fall. Rebound down to Alyssa Yeager. Yeager up into the front court. Yeager to Maddie Wagaman underneath the Hazel. Left block, put it up and in. And a timeout is asked for by Carla Niemeyer. So it's been a game of runs thus far. Springville, a 10-0 run. Turkey Valley, an 8-0 run. Springville, a 9-0 run. And Springville leads it by a 19-10 margin with 6-17 to play here in quarter number two. Turkey Valley postseason basketball brought to you by American Heartland Insurance. Proud supporter of all area athletes. By Bank First, with locations in St. Lucas and West Union, helping you save time, save money, plan for the future, and plan for retirement. Local ownership and local decisions. Bank First in West Union and St. Lucas. Now the timeout, Reich's out of the backcourt to the front court to our right. Passes on the near right wing to Busta, and there was Schaffenbuehl, Morgan Kinnan, and Sadie Niemeyer. Morgan Kinnan left corner. Her pass deflected, taken by Reichs at the top of the key. Shelby, right corner to Busta, and Busta caught it on the sideline. So Turkey Valley turns it over again. That will be turnover number five on the Trojans. Inbounds comes to Maddie Wegman. Kicks it now to Riley Minster with it across the timeline. Gives the hand pass to Nicole Kane. Kane passes to Maddie Wegman on the right wing. Maddie dribbles to the free throw line. Goes on the left wing to Meg Megan Wegman. Right corner to Minster. Underneath the right block to Megan Wegman. And Megan goes up and scores. And a foul called on Morgan Kennett. Morgan will pick up her second and the team second. And Megan Wegeman will go to the free throw line. With the opportunity at the three point play. She's five of nine from the free throw line here at the state tournament. First and only up and good. Trojans had the game tied at 10-10 late in the first quarter. Springville currently on a 12-0 run. They lead it 22-10, 5-28 to play second quarter. Reichs on the right wing to Busta. Right corner to Delaney Lansing. On the right wing to Busta. Busta takes a dribble. Top of Keenan Niemeyer. Back on the right wing to Busta. Busta left of the circle to Reichs. Reichs is passed to nobody in particular. Run down by Busta in the midcourt area. Now to Shelby Reichs. Shelby vocally calls out a set play. Right of the circle to Niemeyer. Left side to Reichs. Reichs on the left wing with 4.57 to play here in the second quarter. Now to Busta. Back to Reichs between the circles. Reichs on the right wing to Niemeyer. Top of the key to Reichs. Left side to Busta. Top of the key to Reichs. Left side to Busta. Emily for three. Got it. Emily Busta. Ends the 12-0 run for Springville with a three of her own. She's got nine. And it's 22-13 Springville with 4.30 to play second quarter. Up in the front court, Nahazel off the feed from M Maddie Wegeman, and Nahazel puts it up and in. Nahazel with 12 points. 24-13. Springville up by 11. 4.13 to play till halftime. With it on the left side is Niemeyer. Niemeyer double teamed, left wing to Reichs. Shelby on the drive into the lane. Goes right wing to Busta. Back between the circles to Reichs. Top of the key to 
Busta to Wrights, left side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer left in the lane to Kinnon. Kinnon tried to get it to Niemeyer. She cut one way, the ball went the other. And the Orioles will get it on the turnover. Turkey Valley is now with six turnovers here in the first half. Spring Mill with five. 3.53 to play second quarter. Pass inbounds to Menster, and she is bumped into and fouled by Emily Busta. Busta picks up her first, team's third. 3.53 to play until halftime against the pressure. Orioles have it with May Megan Wegman now to Menster. Menster up the right side of the floor, bumped into and fouled. No, a double dribble. Delaney Lensing had some contact there, but the officials ruled that the double dribble happened beforehand. So the Trojans will get it back, trailing by 11. Top of the key with it is Reichs. Right wing to Busta. Right of the lane to Kennett. Lot pass to Lensing. Right block. Put it up and in. That's the best zone offensive set we've seen out of Turkey Valley tonight. Delaney Lensing with her first two of the night. 24-15 Springville. 318 to play second quarter. Wegeman to Minster. Left corner to Jaeger. And a foul is called away from the ball on Delaney Lensing. Delaney Lensing picks up her first foul, and the team is fourth. And Macy News will come in to get Sadie Niemeyer. Playing at baseline left will be Megan Wegman underneath of the right block to Yeager, and Yeager puts it up and in. Yeager with the bucket. She's got four, it's 26-15. Turkey Valley trailing Springville with three minutes to play second quarter and Reich's is pass deflected out of bounds by Riley Menster. So Turkey Valley will play at the, at the Springville bench and the front court to our right. Inbounds it comes to Reich's, top of the key. Right wing to Noose, top of the key to Reich's. To Noose on the right wing, right corner to Lensing. Lensing to Reich's at the right block. Reich stops, goes top of the key to Busta. Three pointer up, short. Rebound pulled down by Maddie Wegeman for the Orioles. Reverses it back to Megan Wegeman. Quickly ahead on the right side to Yeager. To Nahazel at the block. Hook shot up and good. Nahazel with 14 here in the first half. 28 4 15. Springville with the lead. 2.22 to play till halftime. Reich's on the right wing to Busta. Busta. Dribbling around, right of the lane. Top of the key to Reichs. Reichs on the left wing to Noose. Left of the lane to Kinnon. Couldn't handle the pass. Taken away by Yeager. Yeager now to Megan Wegeman. Kicks it on the right side to Menster. Underneath at the right block to Nahazel. Lost it on the way up. Taken away by Lensing for the Trojans. Now to Reichs. Reichs up into the front court. Reichs driving down the lane. Put it up and in. Shelby on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. 28-17 Springville. 145 to play second quarter. Jaeger with the left block, put up the shot, no good. Rebound deflected, out of bounds, and Turkey Valley will have it. Busto will look to get it in bounds, does so to Shelby Rice. 137 to play second quarter. It's a 28-17 lead for Springville. Trojan ball shooting to our right. Reichs top of the key, right wing to Busta. Back top of the key to Reichs. Reichs defected pass, goes to Busta. Busta had it knocked out of her hands by Maddie Wegman. So the Trojans will play it near sideline, front court to our right. Busta inbounds to Reichs, to Kinnon at the left block. Turn around, shot from there, good. Reichs to Kinnon for the bucket. She's got six. It's 28-19, Springville. 108 to play second quarter. With it on the left side is Jaeger. Jaeger to Nahazel. Right side to Minster. Three-pointer no good. Rebound to the side. Pulled down by Lensing for Turkey Valley. Now to Reichs. Reichs up into the front court. Reichs with it on top. Right side to Busta. Emily for three. No. 
Rebound down to Nahazel for the Orioles. Outlet right to Minster. Minster brings it up the right side of the floor. Back between the circles to Jaeger. Jaeger to Maddie Wegman underneath to Maddie Wegman from Megan Wegman rather, and Maddie put it up for two. Maddie with four. 30 to 19. Springville with an 11 point lead, 24 seconds to play till halftime. Rikes dribbling up into the front court. Rikes still in the midcourt area with 12 seconds remaining. Rikes around a Kennan screen, passes on the right wing to Busta, top of Keita Rikes with six seconds. Now to Busta, top of Keita Rikes. Long three-pointer, air ball, goes out of bounds, untouched, and Springville will have it with a half a second remaining. <laughs> Megan Wegeman will look to get it in bounds. Does so to Riley Minster, and that's gonna be the first half. Springville outscores Turkey Valley 17-9 in the second quarter and leads it 30-19 here at the halftime break of the 1A state championship game. Let's take a time out here on FM 100.5. So, it will be Trojan ball to start the third quarter. We'll shoot to our left here in the second half. Niemeyer, Reichs, Noose, Lensing, and Kennett. It's Nahazel, Wegeman, Wegeman, Minster, and Jaeger for Springville. Reichs with it at the top of the key, passes on the near left wing to Noose, top of the key to Reichs. Over on the right side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer, right corner to Noose, to Kennett, right block, puts it up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Nahazel for the Orioles. Now to Megan Wagaman, quickly ahead on the right side to Jaeger, and Jaeger travels with it. So Jaeger turns it over back to Turkey Valley, seventh turnover on Springville. Trojans trail by 11 with the ball shooting to our left. Noose with it on the right wing. Skip pass deflected, taken away by Minster. Minster up into the front court, driving in, lays it up and in. Riley Minster with five. 32-19, Springville up 13. 7-11 to play here in the third quarter. Top of the key with it is Reich. To Niemeyer, to Kennan at the left block. A turnaround shot, fails to fall. Rebound on the weak side, pulled down by Noose. Dribbles to the right baseline. Top of the key to Reich. Now to Noose, right wing. To Kennan at the free throw line. Put up the shot, no good. Rebound pulled down and a foul called on Sadie Niemeyer. Niemeyer picks up her first foul on the team's fifth. Only the sixth overall foul called, or the fifth on Turkey Valley, the first of the second half, only the sixth overall foul called in the game. Megan Wegeman passes across the timeline to Maddie Wegeman. Underneath to Nahazel at the right block, put up the shot, no good. Lensing the rebound for Turkey Valley. Now to Reichs, Shelby up into the front court. Shelby veers over to the right wing. Shelby gets bumped into and fouled. And Maddie Wegeman will pick up the foul, her first and the team's first as well. Trojans will play at baseline right with Reichs, front court to our left. Right corner to Noose, 20 footer up, no good. Rebound, Niemeyer, right block, puts it up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Yeager for the Orioles. Now to Megan Wegeman, to Maddie Wegeman up the left side of the floor. Maddie dribbles to the left wing, kicks it back to Megan Wegeman between the circles to Yeager. Yeager to Hazel at the free throw line. Good ball moving underneath to Megan Wegeman. A layup is no good. Lensing got the rebound for Turkey Valley. Now to Reichs. Reichs up into the front court. Right, stops at the free throw line. Right corner to Kennan. 20 footer, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Orioles. Jaeger got it. Now to Megan Wegeman. Megan dribbles across the timeline to Alyssa Jaeger. Jaeger underneath at the right block to Megan Wegeman. She caught it and traveled. Yeah. 
Emily Busta coming in to get Macy News for Turkey Valley. Nicole Keane coming in for Springville. Reichs with the basketball, front court to our left, 5.30 to play here in the third quarter, 32-19, Springville. Lensing, right wing to Niemeyer, between the circles to Reichs. Reichs around a screen, right of the lane. Leaves it on the right wing to Niemeyer, top of Kita Kennan. Right side to Reichs. Reichs between the circles to Busta. Busta drives all the way to the left block, put up the shot, it was partially deflected. The Hazel brings down the board for Springville. Now to Jaeger. To Megan Wegeman who dribbles across the timeline. Left corner to Nicole Keane. Keane dribbles to the top of the key. Left wing to Jaeger. Left corner to Megan Wegeman. Try to get it to Nahazel and it's kicked out by Kennett. <laughs> Orioles will play at baseline left with Megan Wegeman. Megan gets it out the right block to Menster, and Menster puts it up for two. Menster with her second buck of the second half. She's got seven, and the Orioles have their biggest lead at 34-19. Reichs at the free throw line to Kennett. Left side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer back between the circles over the head of Reichs. She touches it up in the backcourt for an over and back. This is FM 100.5, Kitty CFM Decora. Darren Swenson for the 1A state championship game. Springville leading Turkey Valley 34 19 with 4.33 left here in the third quarter. Minster with the basketball. And pass to Maddie Wegman between the circles to Yeager. Yeager and Hazel try to get it underneath, and it's intercepted by Delaney Lensing. Now to Reichs. Reichs up into the front court, spinning away from a defender. Stops. Left side to Niemeyer. Sadie for three. Got it. Niemeyer with her first bucket of the night. 34 22. And Delaney Lensing called for a foul after the ball was released. In the battle for a potential rebound, Lensing picks up her second and the team's second as well. 34-22, Springville, 4.05 to play in the third. Now Hazel at the free throw line. Left wing to Minster, skips it over on the right side to Jaeger. Right corner to Megan Wegman. Left corner to Maddie Wegman, top of the key. Touch pass, now at the free throw line to Na Hazel, to Megan Wegman. To Minster underneath at the right block to Nahazel, and she gets fouled. Shelby Rikes is going to get the personal. Rikes picks up her first, team's third. Orioles with the ball and a 12 point lead. 3.40 to play here in the third quarter. Buston knocks the wall, ball away from Minster, but Minster got it back. Dumps it to Nahazel, and Nahazel puts it up and in. Now Hazel was 16. That's more than she scored the first time against Turkey Valley. 36-22. Springville up by 14. Rikes top of the key. Rikes around a screen to the right baseline. Drives all the way to the right block. Stopped. Palencing on the right wing. Top of the key to Busta. Three-pointer up. Got it. Busta now with 12. Lead 11 for Springville, 36-25. And a loose ball and a foul called on Turkey Valley. Morgan Kennan sliding after a loose ball, fouls Minster. Morgan will pick up her third personal and the team's fourth. Lensing out and Schaff and Mule in for Turkey Valley. Springville ball up by 11. Inbounds to Nahazel in the lane. Eight footer, no good. Rebound down to Busta for Turkey Valley. Now to Reichs. Reichs around a screen down the lane. Put up a wild shot off the glass and in. The runner goes for Reichs. Shelby with four. 36 27, Springville. 2.37 to play here in the third quarter. 
Megan Wagaman, right corner to Riley Menster. Pass underneath, loose on the floor. It ends up in a tie-up between Morgan Kennan and Maddie Wagaman. Alternating possession will go to Springville. Two thirty to play here in the third quarter. Springville, 36-27. Inbounds to Nahazel. Hazel, now to Megan Wagaman. Wait, Megan goes up, got her shot blocked by Kennan. It'll go out of bounds to Springville. Megan Wagaman plays at baseline right. Megan to Nahazel Hazel on the right wing. Between the circles to Yeager. To Maddie underneath to Nahazel. Hazel, left block. Put it up off the glass and in. Now Hazel with 18, 38-27. Springville up 11, 2-10 to play here in the third quarter. Busta, right corner to Kennett. Now to Busta on the right wing. Top of the key, two rights. Gets it to Chop Mule left in the lane, left corner to Niemeyer, a 20-footer up and good. Niemeyer with the bucket to make it 38 to 30, and they're gonna rule it a three-pointer. Now Hazel underneath, but the right block put it up, no good, Schaffenmuehl got the board. And I think they might have ruled that one a two-pointer. It was a two-pointer and not a three-pointer. The covering official corrected the error once Turkey Valley had the ball. Good job by the official and getting the call right. 38-29, single digits. The deficit for the Trojans. Reichs to Busta down the lane, put it up and in. Busta with 14. 38-31, 1.23 to play here in the third. With the basketball midcourt area, Megan Wagaman, right corner, Minster, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, tipped by Reichs to Busta. Now to Shelby. Shelby up into the front court. Shelby drives right of the lane, put it up off the side of the backboard, and it's taken by the Orioles. Megan Wagaman quickly ahead to Minster. Minster goes up, short arms the layup, but gets the rebound. Now to Megan Wagaman, right corner to Minster. Minster driving baseline, kicks it to Maddie Wagaman, and she gets run into and fouled by Sadie Niemeyer. Sadie will pick up personal number one. Two, team foul number five. Baseline left, Megan Wegeman will look to get it in bounds. On the left wing to Maddie. Maddie to Menster, left corner to Megan. Underneath to Menster, her pass deflected, comes down in the hands of Maddie Wegeman, and Maddie puts it up for two. Maddie Wegeman. It's the serendipitous hop. It's 40 to 31, Springville, 32 seconds left in the third. Puts to top of the key to Reichs. Reichs on the right side to Kennan. Kennan takes a 20, 15 footer, no good. Niemeyer the port, put it up and got fouled. Foul is on Megan Wegeman. Her first, team's third. And Niemeyer, with five points all in this quarter, will go to the free throw line. An 81% free throw shooter hits the first. Sadie has struggled from the line here in Des Moines, though. She is 8 of 15. 23.6 seconds to play. Here in the third, 40 to 32 Springville. Second free throw up and good. 40 to 33 the score. Springville up seven, 18 seconds to play in the third. Pass ahead, taken by Maddie Wegman, but she throws it into the Springville bench. So a turnover on Springville will give Turkey Valley a chance with 14 seconds left here in the third quarter. Trojan faithful coming to their feet. Reichs up into the front court. Reichs around a screen. Right side to Busta. Emily for three, got it! 
Costa for three. It's a four-point game. Emily Busta has 17 points, and the Trojans back into it, 40 to 36, as we go to the fourth on FM 100.5. Welcome back to Des Moines. The Trojans were down 14. And they have pulled within four. It'll be Trojan ball to start the fourth quarter. Sadie Niemeyer with seven points in that quarter. And eight from Emily Busta. It'll be Niemeyer, Reichs, Busta, Kayla Schaffenbuehl, and Morgan Kennan for the Trojans. Maddie Wegeman, Megan Wegeman, Nahazel, Menster, and Yeager for Springville. Reichs up into the front court to our left. Passes on the right wing to Busta. Back between the circles to Kennan, right side to Reichs. Reichs driving right of the lane, now stops. Goes in the right corner to Niemeyer. On the right wing to Kennan. Hand pass to Reichs, to Schaffenbuehl, to Busta, left side. Emily for three, air ball. Rebound pulled down by Megan Wegeman for the Orioles. Megan up into the front court. Top of the key to Nahazel. Nahazel on the right side to Minster. Now to Nahazel at the free throw line. Gives a hand pass to Maddie Wegman. Left side to Yeager. Left corner to Menster and to Hazel. To Maddie Wegman to Menster. Jumper up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Niemeyer for the Trojans. Niemeyer now to Reichs. Reichs passes on the right wing to Busta. Right corner to Kennan. Kennan on the right wing to Shelby. Right corner to Morgan. Right wing to Shelby Reichs, left of the circle to Busta. Right of the circle, Reichs. Three up, it dances out, rebound, Schaffenbuehl. Put it up and in. <laughs> Kayla with her first two of the night. It's 40 to 38 with 6.40 remaining in the game. Trojans haven't led since 2-0. Megan Wegeman on the right wing, right corner to Menster. Menster left of the circle to Yeager. Yeager top of the key, right side, Megan Wegeman. Megan on the left side to Riley Menster underneath at the left block. Shot up by Megan Wegman is partially deflected. Rebound pulled down by Morgan Kennett. Now to Rikes. Rikes up into the front court to our left. Left wing to Kennett. Left corner to Niemeyer. Sadie's going to take a three. No good. Rebound pulled down by the Orioles. It was Megan Wegman that got it. 40 to 38. Springville, 555 remaining, and Reichs fouls Megan Wegeman in the backcourt. Reichs with her second and the team's sixth. 554 remaining. Oreo ball up to shooting to our right. Menster across the timeline to Nahazel between the circles. Left side to Yeager. Touch passing underneath to Na Hazel or Yeager, and Yeager couldn't handle the pass from Megan Wegeman, and it goes out of bounds to Turkey Valley. <laughs> Trojans have it with an opportunity to tie again. 534 remaining. Reichs to Kinnan, left block, put it up, no good, foul called. Foul called on Alyssa Yeager. Her second team foul number three. And Morgan Kennan will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Kennan seven for 10 here in the state tournament from the free throw line. First one up and good. Second one in play with 529 remaining. It's up. It's good. 
And we are tied for the first time since 10-10. It's 40 to 40. Menster in the backcourt. And it knocked away. Taken away by Wright. Put it up and in. Shelby Wright's the steal and the score. And the Trojans are on top. Timeout, Springville. 5 20 remaining in the game. Turkey Valley has taken a 42 to 40 lead. Let's take a timeout on FM 100.5. The Trojans trailed by as many as 15 here in the second half. They have the lead with 5.20 remaining. 42 to 40. Against the pressure. Megan Wegeman will look to get in bounds. Does so to Maddie Wegeman. Now to Megan Wegeman who dribbles across the timeline and travels. So another turnover on Springville. Trojans get it back, leading by two with 5.05 remaining. Kennan in the right corner to Busta to right to Schaffenbuehl in the lane. Left side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer skips it over to Busta right side. Three-pointer up. Good! <laughs> Emily Busta with 20. Trojans up five. 45 to 40. 440 remaining. Metzger up into the front court. Tanae Hazel underneath the Metzger. Layup no good. Rebound pulled down by Busta for the Trojans. Now to right. Rikes up into the front court. Rikes retreats to the midcourt area. Tried to get it to Schaffenbuehl and the Hazel takes it away. Quickly ahead to Menster on the right side. Menster drives in, lays it up and in. Menster with nine. 45-42. Turkey Valley up three with the ball, 4.08 remaining. Rikes up into the front court. Likes. Passes on the right side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer plays it off the foot of a Oriole defender, and the Trojans will play it at their bench. And a 30-second timeout is asked for by Turkey Valley. The Trojans will have three timeouts remaining. Springville has four. Foul situation, Trojans have committed six. Springville has committed three. Possession arrow belongs to Springville. That's the way we reset it. With 3.54 remaining in the game. Trojans trail by 15. With 4.51 to play in the third, they lead it by three, 45 to 42. Reich's on the right side to Busta. Busta right corner to Kennett. Kennett takes the dribble, top of Keenan Niemeyer. Niemeyer holds and looks, right side to Kennett, right corner to Busta. Busta dribbles to the right wing, top of the key to Reich's. Shelby on the pass underneath, deflected away from Kennan, taken away by Menster, and Kennan fouled her. For Morgan, that will be personal number four. And team foul number seven. So one and one coming for Springville with 3.30 remaining in the game. At the free throw line is Riley Menster. She's got seven points. She's nine of 14 at the line in the tournament. She hits the first free throw. 45-43, second free throw up and good. It's 45-44. Trojans lead and ball, 3.30 remaining. Busto with it on the right wing. Between the circles to Rikes. 
Likes will hold and look. Now to Niemeyer. Niemeyer's pass deflected. Goes to Busta on the right wing. Busta's going to take a three. It's no good. Rebound down to the Orioles. Megan Wegeman got it quickly ahead to Minster. Minster on the right side. Right of the key to Nahazel. Nahazel. Left side to Jaeger. Left corner to Maddie Wegeman. Underneath at the left block to Megan Wegeman. And Megan goes up and gets fouled. Shelby Reichs will pick up her third. Team's eighth. Two free throws coming for Megan Wegeman. Orioles three of three at the line tonight. Megan five of nine here in the state tournament. Free throw up and good. We're tied at 45 with 2.53 remaining in the game. Second free throw coming. Up, no good. Rebound, Schaffenbuehl. We're tied at 45, 2.50 left. Reichs up into the front court. Passes on the right wing to Busta. Busta back between the circles to Reichs. Reichs around a screen to the left side to Niemeyer. Niemeyer takes the dribble, skips it over to Busta on the right wing, skips it back to Niemeyer left side. Sadie for three, no good. Rebound to Hazel for the Orioles. 2.25 left, Oriole ball, tie game at 45. Megan Wegeman across the timeline to Minster. Minster top of the key to Nahazel. To Minster, left side, it goes. With it in the left corner now is Maddie Wegman. Tried to get it to Nahazel. Ball bumped around, Nahazel gets it. Left block, puts it up and in. Nahazel with 20. And the Orioles back on top, 47-45. 155 remaining in the game. Busta to Reichs. Left side to Niemeyer, top of the key to Reichs. Reichs right of the lane to Kennan, lost control of it. Taken in the right corner by Busta. Now to Reichs, to Kennan. Tried to get it to Niemeyer, deflected out of bounds near side. It will go to Turkey Valley. Left corner with it is Reichs. Reich starts to penetrate into the lane, put up the shot, no good, but was fouled beforehand. Springville will pick up their fourth personal foul. Or Maddie Wegman will pick up the second personal on her and the fourth on the team. Both stay in left corner to Reichs. Trojans trail by two, 127 remaining. Kennan on the right side, between the circles to Reichs. Reichs. To Busta, left side. Busta starts to penetrate. Top of the key to Shelby. Shelby's gonna take a three-pointer. No good. Rebound to the side, being fought for, out of bounds to Turkey Valley. 107 remaining. Springville up to Turkey Valley ball. Front court to our left. Into Busta, three-pointer up. Good! Emily Busta! Puts the Trojans back up, 48-47. One minute to play. Maddie Wegeman on the right side. Throws it into the Springville bench. Wegeman pushed it up the right side of the floor. Tried to skip pass and threw it right to Nate Sanderson. 30-second timeout asked for by Springville. Fifty-three point two seconds remaining. Turkey Valley, three timeouts left. Springville, three timeouts remaining. Springville has two fouls to give. One thing to keep in mind before Turkey Valley would shoot free throws. Trojans have committed eight fouls. Possession arrow belonging to Springville. 
53 seconds left. Turkey Valley up by one with the ball. Inbounds, it comes to Busta. Busta with it in the midcourt area. Busta trying to get it off to Morgan Kennan. A timeout is asked for by Carl and Niemeyer. Niemeyer noticing the trouble her team was in. Calmly, coolly, and collectively asked for a timeout and was granted one with 45 seconds remaining. So now the Trojans will have two timeouts remaining. Trojans, two timeouts left. Springville, three timeouts left. Another thing to keep in mind, Springville has two fouls to give before putting the Trojans at the free throw line. Reichs, Busta, Niemeyer. Kinnon and Schaffenbuehl for Turkey Valley. Niemeyer inbounds right in front of us. Gets it into Busta and Busta is fouled right away. Yeager picks up her third. Team's fifth. And again, right in front of us, Niemeyer will look to get in inbounds. 43.5 seconds remaining. Pass inbounds over the head of Morgan Kennan, but Kennan runs it down in front of the scorer's table and a foul called on Springville. Megan Wegeman, personal number two, team foul number six, 41.8 seconds remaining. Trojans up one, 48-47. Niemeyer looks to get inbounds and a timeout asked for by City as she was having trouble. So the Trojans down to one timeout remaining. On an out of bounds play, Emily Busta hits a three pointer with 104 remaining. And that gave Turkey Valley a lead. Springville turned it over on their next possession. <laughs> Trojans have had it since. Trojans will inbound at the scorer's table. 41.8 seconds remaining. 48-47, Turkey Valley. Niemeyer, Busto, Reichs, Kennan, Schaff, and Buell for the Trojans. Sadie will look to get in bounds. Does so to Emily Busta. Busta had it knocked out of bounds on a foul call on Menster. Menster picks up her first, team seventh. So one and one coming for Emily Busta. Emily, 11 points in the second half, or 12 points in the second half, and 23 on the night. First one up, no good. Rebound, Menster. 38 seconds left. Kicks it back to Megan Wegeman. Megan still in the backcourt. Leaves it now to Menster, and Nate Sanderson calls a timeout. It'll be a full one. So the Orioles will have two timeouts remaining now. 31.6 to play. 48-47. Turkey Valley leads Springville. This one has been a dandy.
Again, your game go-ahead shot right now. And Emily Busta, three-pointer. With 1.04 remaining. Springville will inbound in the backcourt with 31.6 seconds remaining. Looking to get in bounds will be Megan Wegeman. Does so to Riley Minster. Riley up into the front court to our right. Hand pass Maddie Wegeman. Maddie bounce pass in the right corner to Megan Wegeman. Skips it over to Minster. Her pass deflected. It goes to the corner. Minster had it. It's a loose ball. It's taken by Minster. Top of the key to Yeager. Yeager's pass deflected. Goes left side to Minster. Minster on the left wing to Wegeman. Wegeman right side to Maddie Wegeman. Six seconds. Maddie takes the shot. No good. Rebound pulled down. A foul call. A shot was up and good, but a foul called on Turkey Valley beforehand. Busta fouled Yeager. Emily, her second, team's eighth. Yeager to the free throw line for the one and one with 3.2 seconds remaining. Free throw up and good. 48-48. Second one coming. By Yeager, up and good. Timeout, Turkey Valley. 49-48, Springville. And that will be the Trojans' last time out. So Busta put the Trojans ahead with 104 remaining. A foul by Busta. Sent. Alyssa Yeager, a sophomore to the free throw line for two for a one and one situation. And Yeager hit a pair of free throws to give Springville a 49 to 48 lead. Turkey Valley will inbound from the far end with 3.2 seconds remaining. What a ball game. Niemeyer looking to get in bounds. Niemeyer into Morgan Kennan. Kennan will launch one ahead. Short, and that's the ball game. An absolute classic in the 1A state title game. And the Springville Orioles win it by a 49 to 48 margin. We'll take a break and put a bow on this one next on FM 100.5. 